Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi everyone and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express and in this lesson we'll be explaining the AWS Outposts. So very simply, what is AWS Outposts? First of all, Outpost is a family of a fully managed solutions that is delivering AWS infrastructure to your on-premise and to your physical data center. And since this is a family, this family might come in a one rack unit server or in a two rack unit server or it might come in a sort of a complete rack like this one. So that's an example of an outpost. This is a rack and this rack, the beauty about this rack, it comes pre-configured, it comes pre-cabled. So you have everything, all what you need to do, you connect this rack into the network and into the power and you will see this as an extension to your AWS cloud. So this outpost will allow you to extend and run the native services that we have on your physical outpost inside your data center. So for outposts, they support workloads and devices. And the key word here is requiring low latency access. So for the kind of applications where if I hosted this application on the cloud, this is offering like a bit of high latency and delay. And for example, my application is a very latency and delay sensitive. That's why I might think about uh, outpost so I can position my infrastructure very, very close to my end users, for example, to provide a very low latency access. And then outpost by definition, is a fully managed infrastructure, which means I don't need to do racking and stacking, cabling and tagging, and then configure the networking, routing and switching, and then introducing virtualization. The beauty about Outpost, Outpost come completely fully managed, pre-cabled, pre-configured, all what you need to do, just connect it to the power and connect it to the internet, and always think about it as an extension. And that can be an example to a hybrid cloud where you have maybe part of your data on AWS cloud and another part of your workloads or your application locally running on your outpost, again, to provide a low latency for applications that they are latency and delay sensitive. With this, we come to the end of this lesson. I hope by now the concept of outpost is clear. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.